Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Super excited about being amongst the people of the Most High one more time on this fabulous Shabbat. Ready to get in the Word. Hallelujah. He is, he, he is, he is worthy. Yes, he is. Not only is he worthy, but he's worth it. Yes, he is worth whatever we got to go through to get to. That's right. Hallelujah. The hymn of his garment. Oh, I got a testimony I wanted go to share it. this morning. I was got exploded. And I did it. That sounds like <laughs> a crack. That sounds like a crack. Okay. okay. So in my house, in the hallway, there's one of those those tall heaters. Mm -hmm. And it's gas. Mm -hmm. And my dumb butt left the lighter inside of it. Ooh. And then I sat wow. down right in front of it and started sorting laundry. And it exploded. But it's, <laughs> it's double vented. So it could have went both ways. Oh, but for no reason at all, it just went the other way. It exploded out the other way and not my way. Oh, it's a double wow. side. Yeah, it should have went, should've went like that. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just the heat on my neck. I was like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're dangerous. <laughs> I heard it go boom. I was going to lie again. You was going to the power. The power of. Uh, he was like, I left the. And it heated up yes, until it yeah. popped. Yeah. It exploded. It was that a loud explosion? Huh? Was it loud? Yeah, it was loud. Yeah. And it just went one way. <laughs> that's mercy. That, no, that, no, that's a real testimony. No, that's good. Hey, no, the most high, the most high be behind the scenes. Bless you all. Thanks for chiming in, everybody. Uh, uh, but, but, but the most high is merciful. He works behind the scenes for yeah, his children. Yeah, yeah. I'll promise you, and I don't get into it, and I'm not going to, but I'm a walking miracle. Yeah, I just don't talk about it. Yeah. I, I, and I mean that. If, if only y'all knew. Hallelujah. I just keep it to myself. Hallelujah. And he is incredible. So I not only do I thank him for the things people can see, but he's behind the scenes 1,000% in my life. And, and, and an example is our sister's testimony. The thing blew up. There's no reason that it blew up and went left as opposed to going right also. Hallelujah. But by his grace. Hallelujah. And that's who we serve. Let's give y'all praise one more time. Hallelujah. You know, we would have had sorrow upon sorrow if something happened to our sister. Yeah. I know I've been oh, like towed up. So, y'all got favor. Let, 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 let's get ready to get the word, y'all. Let's let's go to let's go to Galatians this morning. Let's go to Galatians, right? Let's go to Galatians. I could start talking about uh Chardet, really. It's it like the type of stuff that she go through. It be bananas, and I mean that. It be bananas, y'all. If, yeah, if all y'all knew, yes. and what she got, and how she still laugh, yes. <laughs> still laugh, still smile, still. I mean, we just see an example of because she was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna blow that this morning." <laughs> <laughs> that so part. Calm, huh? <laughs> no, but if you if you couple that with the her day to day operations. Yeah. And she's still pleasant, still smile, still not bitter, still. I know a lot. Yeah, oh, yeah. A lot of people are like, bitter. Oh, bitter as I don't know what. The eyes red, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Ba 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 ba! You turn around, Charlie, shooting in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> <laughs> Jumping and shouting all over this place. <laughs> Yah is good. Yah is good. Galatians, y'all. Let, let's dive on in, right? Um, let's go to six, I believe. I'm gonna try to get this. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get this today. Look what it says. Six and one. It said, "Brother, if a man be overtaken in the fall, right?" 
Ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thine own self, lest thou also be tempted. Look what it says, y'all. It says, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of the Messiah. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own <clears throat> Let's rock, y'all. Um... See, this scripture is trippy, right? This scripture is trippy, right? And the reason that it's trippy is because it can be taken out of context. It can be taken the wrong way and relatively easy, too, right? Um, but a scripture like this uh, exemplifies the responsibility um, that we have for one another, right? But not only does it exemplify the responsibility that we have towards one another. It's the personal, the personal responsibility we have concerning ourselves. So it's kind of like so cool about um, how there is responsibility. 100% right. There is responsibility. Being saved is responsibility, period. And we really need to get that revelation because this replacement theology not only replaces the natural people, but it replaces responsibility. Like we would love to have the state of mind like Jesus did it all. Those of us that know his name, that Yahushua did it all, or Yeshua, right? Like he did it all, and we rose got free. Don't work like that. And though it don't work like that, doesn't mean that we don't owe each other. Because we do. We have a responsibility for one another. And then we also have a responsibility, hallelujah, for ourselves. So when it says, brother, if a man be overtaken in a fault... Ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thine own self, at least thou also be tempted, right? Well, if someone is overtaken in the fault, functioning as a body is all our responsibility. Now, the active, active piece comes from those that are spiritual, right? Someone that is spiritual that know how to restore because the whole goal is restoration, period, right? Kind of makes it easy as backwards as we all have been at some point in our life, we should understand someone that's backwards in their current. Because we used to be current. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we, all, we all were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And even after meeting him, some of us still did the fool, and unfortunately some of us still could be now. So the, the understanding of restoration should be a no-brainer. Because unfortunately, when you get religious, you don't understand stuff like that. Right? Religious folk don't understand. Right? But ye with your spiritual, <clears throat> you go into restoration mode. You go 100% into restoration mode because you don't want them to fall. You don't want them destroyed. And you walk in a certain level of selflessness. You walk in a certain level of selflessness that was your exercise enough to see somebody on the ground and you don't kick them. You don't get the attitude, that's good for you, that's what you get. Because had we all got what we deserve, we all be kicked on the ground with boot prints based on our own personal wickedness, shortcomings, right? So ye, which are spiritual, you go into restoration mode. I always teach 
how we're willing and able to help somebody that's going against somebody else. But it's certainly difficult, difficult for us to help somebody when they come against us personally. That's when, uh, you know, that's when we have our, our issues. You know, they they the devil now. Now that you cuss me out, you was cussing out everybody else, but now that you cuss me out, it's touch not my prophet, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And, and it's better that a millstone be tied about your neck for you to be cast in the depths of the sea to offend at least one of mine. All these good, yeah, yeah, no, the scripture is real. No, I ain't playing when it comes to his children. Don't get it twisted. It is better for one to be a, 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 a millstone be tied about their neck and they be cast in depth seat and mess with his children. They just don't understand that until he get them because of his mercy. But that shouldn't be my state of mind. You all of a sudden the devil that you cussed me out. When you was cussing out Chardet, it was good. Oh, he still love you, Dave. He gonna be there. You gonna give him, make it through, as long as you cussing out. As soon as you cuss me out, are oh, you the devil? You the seed of Satan, the, the slithering seed of the serpent slide. <laughs> yeah, that's religious folks, right? Yeah. But we, but you with your spiritual, oh you can come against me, and I still love you. Mm -hmm. You with your spiritual, you go into restoration mode. I'm talking like my feelings is hurt. Dealing with certain individuals I like, and they just twist it. But at the end of the day, to tell you the truth, I'm crazy about folk. And I love them, and I'm going to do whatever I can to help. That's just the truth. But at the end of the day, ye with your spiritual, you got to go into restoration mode. You can't be, you can't get caught up in yourself. Right? Considering that own self, in what way? I've been there, done that, went there, came back. I used to do that. I've done that. Consider myself, at least I'll also be tempted. Or I get to provoking them. I don't come at them the right way to restore them. And now and then it gets ugly and now I'm tempted to fall away from y'all to start uh, uh, going against the most high because now my feelings is in my hands based on me not knowing how to deal with the wounded, with the offended. Consider my own self. At least I'll also be tempted, right? But look what it says. It went on to say, it says, um, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of the Messiah. Look, I'm aiding you in whatever way I can. I'm helping you in whatever way I can that you might be restored. The Messiah came down 42 generations. Him coming down for two generations looks like the prophecy went forth from the Most High. Saying that the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. And the head of the serpent shall bruise his heel. That's in full effect. That came down 42 generations. To be born of a virgin. To fulfill the rescue. He went through a lot dealing with people. And the people he came to deal with went against him. But he bore our burdens. The burden of our wickedness. Of our rebelliousness. We, we, we didn't cooperate. And he tolerated it. And he put up with it. He could have destroyed us a long time ago. But the word was made flesh. To bring the word on our level. That we might change. And be rescued from our fallen state. Our fallen state of sickness. Our fallen state that's going to be destroyed. He didn't take away the destruction from the fallen state. He took us away from the fallen state. The fallen state is going to be destroyed. The wages of sin is still death. He just died for us. That we can partake in that death by being baptized into that death willingly. I quit myself. I divorced myself. That I might follow the word. The baptizing to his death to rise up to walk in the newness of life. And I understand that to the point that I can bear my brothers and sisters' burdens. When they go wrong, when they get twisted, when they get backwards, I'm, I'm here for you, right? So it says, 
Bear ye one another's burdens and so fulfill ye the law of the Messiah. There's a law. And the law of the Messiah is love. Right? For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. When you twist it and you think you're good, you deceive. When you're comfortable with yourself, but your lifestyle ain't comfortable with y'all. When you think yourself to be something, how are you? Blessed? You live like the devil, though. Yeah. When a man thinks himself to be something, when he is nothing, who's deceived? We, we, we got to be... The type that take responsibility for who and what we are and how we live in. It's not cool to run around here deceived. It's not cool to run around here having a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. It's not cool, y'all. We should be going through the metamorphosis process becoming more and more like him. The more we walk in sin, the more difficult it is to see our sin. The more we walk in sin, the more we walk in the wrong spirit, it's, it's hard to detect it. A man think himself to be something when he is nothing. He deceives himself. It's hard to see yourself because it's a process that one would have his conscience seared with a hot iron. Now, like, the gross part of being deceived is what you're, when you're up under false doctrine, like once saved, always saved. That type of state of mind, you know, you can go against the most high and you're still good because of what Jesus did. That's that Catholicized Christian state of mind on average. Not everyone, but on average, right? But if you're theologically awakened and know the necessity of being baptized into his death, knowing that you're supposed to mortify the deeds of the flesh, which means to kill the deeds of your sinful nature. If you understand that and you've got to be born again and you're baptized inside of a side of walk, the rise of the walk in the newness of life, then you being aware of that, now you've got to watch your conduct to make sure your conduct and your lifestyle lines up with the word because even you knowing that won't help you unless you're doing it. Because if you're not doing it, a certain level of deception comes along with it. It's like anesthesia. There's anesthesia inside of sin that causes one to be comfortable with not doing what the words say, but you still going to talk like you do. Words say not forsaken assembly, you come and go as you please, but you'll still be comfortable with your relationship with him. The anesthesia inside of your rebellion will, will fan you to sleep, will numb you against the truth of the word. So if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Ain't nobody deceived but you. You're pretty pleased with yourself, but folks can see you. More importantly, y'all can. Mm -hmm. So if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Look what it says, y'all. Uh, four for but let every man prove. See, that's why he's saying that, right? But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You, you don't, you don't want to be the type that brag in your watchman. In Paul. And my grandmama was a missionary. <laughs> You don't want to be the type to brag in that. You should be looking in the mirror of the word and be able to brag on yourself that you became a new creation in him. That you've taken up your straw, your torture stake, and you're running the race that he called you to do. Because we know that all things work together for the good to them that love Yah and it's called according to his purpose. And he has a purpose for everybody, everybody. Ain't no bench members here. You got something to do. And it's a high calling. And it's a supernatural calling. And it's accomplished through his grace. Through his unmerited favor. Through the power of his spirit. And what we do is we trust his word. 
And we believe him. Whatever he said we can do, we can do because we can do all things through the Mashiach who strengthens us. And we understand that the Messiah is the word, y'all. The Mashiach's body died on the tree and rose again and it's out of here like last year. We understand that having a relationship with the Messiah moving forward is having a relationship with the word. We've been reconciled with the word. The word should be written in the tables of our heart. And in that word, there is a personal assignment. And we all should be walking in that personal assignment. We all should be working in him. Are you with me? I don't want the distractions to, to get you off the word, y'all. Look what it said. It said, but let every man prove his own work. Prove it. What is the call on your life? And prove it. What should you be doing for the most high? And prove it. And if you're not doing it, how many of y'all know you're not? Because the worst state to be in is not doing what he called you to do, but let you tell it you are. Y'all saw um, uh, Samuel, the 15th chapter, when Saul was supposed to kill all the Amalekites. Yeah. And he said he did it when Samuel started coming. He said, praise the Lord, brother. Hallelujah. I did it. He said, well, then why I hear these animals with all this bleeding? They're supposed to be dead. And what is the king doing standing here? We got folks that will celebrate their relationship with the most high while they cussing. While they shacking. Why they backbiting? Why they being hateful? Why they holding a grudge? Praise the Lord! Deceived. This anesthesia inside of sin that will cause you to compliment yourself and your relationship with Him as if you're obeying Him when you're not. You don't do what He said. You don't show up like you should, and you're not walking in the call. We need to wake up out of the slumber, wake up out of the sleep, the deception of sin, and start doing what we're called to do. And we should be doing it every day. Because if you're in him, you're a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. All. Everything. Your whole life. Your, your goal for living is new. It's different. It's not the same. You're not on a paper chase. You're on a yacht chase. You have paper, but you ain't chasing it. You're chasing Yah. You're first seeking the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness, knowing that this other stuff is going to be added on to you on the Titanic that already hit the iceberg and already sinking. You're not tripping on that. You've been bought with a price, and your life is no longer, hallelujah, uh, 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 your, your, your own. So the scripture is, is clear when it says, but let every man prove. I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> but let him improve his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Watch this. For every man shall bear his own burden. Every man. Do you know I cannot help you Carry the call on your life. You got to do that. Whatever fasting that's necessary. Whatever reading that's necessary. Whatever praying that's necessary. Whatever showing up that's necessary. Whatever giving that's necessary. Whatever apologies that's necessary. Whatever humbling yourself that's necessary. You got to do that and you got to do it alone. You can rejoice in the fact that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. But you got to bear your own burden. How many of y'all sick and tired sometimes? How many of y'all lonely sometimes? How many of y'all misunderstood and left out and mistreated sometimes? Overlooked sometimes? You got to bear that. And you got to bear it his way too. Marriage ain't right. You got to bear it. What are you going to do? Start sinning because it ain't right? You got to bear whatever it is you got to go through. So I say, take up your straws. Straws represents what? The cross, they call it? They say it's a cross? Well, you got to bear it. You got to bear, bear your tree. Straws is a pole, it's a beam. 
But if they want to put the the, the, the unk wing on the joker, whatever it is, you got to bear whatever was shaped like, whatever the tree was shaped like. You got to carry your suffering. You got to deal with it because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You can't blame nobody else because you just prove your carnality. You help defeat yourself when you get to blaming folks for what you got to go through. Whatever he allowed to come in your life, he didn't put you there to blame folks. You're not supposed to even fight fire with fire. You're not supposed to uh, 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 fight evil with evil. You're supposed to overcome evil with good. When you belong to him, people do something wrong to you. That's not, that's not your testimony. Your testimony is great as he that's in me than he that's in the world, and you overcome uh, evil with good. Your, your, your testimony is, I'm going to hang in there. I can take a lick and keep on ticking. I'm still going to do what's right. I don't care what you do. You're not my Elohim like that. You talking like that, you doing that, it's not my Elohim. You don't, I'm not led by your spirit. I'm not led by your wickedness. I'm not led by your attitude. I'm led by the Ruach HaKadosh. I'm led by his spirit. I'm not led by your bikini, your thong, your cleavage, Cleveland. <laughs> I'm not led by that. No, that's not. I'm led by his spirit. Big old thick brother. Speaking for the sisters. I got to clarify the times we living in. I'm speaking for the sisters when I say that. The times we living in. Keep the record straight. Got a bear. You got to. You got, 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 Filled with the Ruah, hit my line. I'm on Instagram. You got whatever, whatever, whatever that come in your life, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. The scripture offers the right state of mind. I'm not abandoning you because you got to bear your own burden. I can't use that as a route out not to love the body. I'm, I'm commissioned to lay my life down that you might live. I'm commissioned to get involved uh, to the level that I'm able to get involved. But at the end of the day, you got to bear your own burden. You got to keep the right attitude. You got you to gotta deal with what you got to deal with. And the Most High will never allow someone else to become your Elohim. Become your Savior. He's jealous. He did it. Read Isaiah. He did it. He didn't even let the flesh take the, response, the, the, the credit. When he was in the flesh, they called him good. He said, no, nah, you tripping. And then when you read 2 Corinthians uh, uh, 5, he, he let it be known. We used to know the Messiah after the flesh. Moving forward, we don't. Because the reconciliation process has already happened. The Ruah, the living word is here. The flesh man did his job, died on the tree, and got up out of here. Now you have permission to allow the word to be in your heart. Leading and guiding you into all truth. The man piece is done. When he was hanging on that straw, he said, it is finished. And he got up out of here. And then he came back without the body as the Ruah, the spirit, the living word to be baptized in the tables of our heart that now we're new in him and we can obey him and we should be walking in our calling. And if you're not, why aren't you? You got to denounce yourself. Every man got to bear his own burden. You got to get to the point that you're going to do what he say, no matter how you feel. Folks really like themselves more than they like to admit. They get caught up in themselves and they do what pleases them despite of what he say to them. 
and somehow we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta shake ourselves. We got, we, 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 we gotta meditate in the word day and night so we can shake ourselves to snap out of this slumber, this sleep that causes people to have a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. We're commissioned to walk in love and to walk in our purpose. Walk in our purpose while we're walking in the spirit of love. Being able to get out of ourselves, not being led by your emotions, by not being led by your five senses. The limitation is in your humanity. You can't stop doing this because of your humanity. You can't stop doing that because of your humanity. And you too attached to your humanity. And everyone is attached to their humanity is walking in sin. Everybody's attached to their humanity. They're going to go to the club anyway. They're going to dress a certain way anyway. They're going to say what they want to say anyway. They're going to sleep with who they want to sleep with anyway. They're going to come and go as they please anyway. They're going to be stingy too. The things of the most high, they ain't got time for it. I ain't got the money for it. I ain't got the mental space for it. I'm on a mission for me. And that anesthesia that's attached to sin will make them comfortable having a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. We all got to bear our own burden. And the Most High will allow folks to come in to be able to help you along your way. But at the end of the day, you're only bowing down to him. Yeah, we got this treasure in earthen vessels. The treasure is the word. The treasure is the ruah. The treasure is the power to be obedient to him. We have this treasure in earthen vessels, but the treasure is him. It's in his children that bow down to him, but the treasure is him. And the treasure that's inside of his children is the oil that the five foolish virgins didn't have. They said, give me your oil. He said, I just got enough oil for myself. Go and buy where they sell it. Don't get your own. And then, and then the door was open and the five wives uh, uh, virgins went in because they had that treasure living inside of them, that oil, the ruach. The living word was living inside of them and they was living it and doing it and walking they called in their purpose. And they went in, and the ones that wasn't ready ran and tried to get it because because the because the coronavirus. <laughs> okay. Now they're ready to get some oil. Okay. Some folks are running around here with the Budweiser virus. <laughs> they don't drink Corona. <laughs> Innocent. Under the influence yeah. of sin, when you should be working for him, you've been. Bought. Come on, y'all. He to seek to save his life is gonna lose it. There's nothing on earth worth your soul. Not one thing. Nothing and nobody. It's worth your soul. We get caught up in the people. Places and things we call by a noun. People, places, and things. And we choose that stuff over the most high. And we're comfortable with having a form of yawliness. A form of it. We got all the attributes of having a relationship with him verbally. <laughs> Except for in our heart. That we're perpetrating to our actions. When you're a slave to your sin... You can't bear your own burden. You're going to blame other people. Everybody owe you. You on some poor little me type of hype, right? You need to justify your wickedness. So when you make yourself the victim, that's when you become a victimizer. When you become a victim, you got a reason to be stingy, not to show up. I got to look out for me. Ain't nobody looking out for me. So now, oh, I see why you don't walk in love. Yeah, because ain't nobody mm -mm. <laughs> wicked, religious. Hallelujah. You ended with hallelujah. We got to get out of that. Bear your own burden. You read. You go read. That brother call me all the time reading. Every now and then I snatch him because he's falling into a hole. He reads so much. 
I gotta pull pull my brother out sometime. Brother, you going a little? Gotta give me scripture. I can't tell him. You you keep reading. You read. What you asking me for? Go read. You go find out. If you come up with something wrong, we'll talk about it. But you go fast. See up here. You fast and fast for me. Joker, put that burger down fast for yourself. Exactly. I can't give for you, just stingy self. <laughs> oh, I give for him? No, you can't. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You get a thousand, you ain't got a hundred for y'all? That's good. That's your business. Because the truth of the matter, and this, please understand this, you don't hurt nobody but yourself. Because do you know y'all's business still go for it? It ain't never skipped a beat. Right. <laughs> it don't even slow down. That's right. I ain't give God don't. <laughs> Who you hurt but you? You gotta bear your own burden. And a part of your burden is supporting ministry. That's a that that for some people they don't mind. But some people that's a big burden. Because they carnal and they seek to save their own life and they gonna make sure they good. Okay. Then you took that job from Yah. Okay, so make sure you're good then. You better be good too. See? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Give my wallet tape. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. Ironically. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> you were staring at it and you pulled it, and your eye rays pulled it out of my pocket, and you feel guilty. <laughs> Come on, somebody! Come on, somebody! Pay your own burden. Did you know? I gotta read for myself. Yes. I gotta fast for myself and pray for myself. Do you know I gotta forgive for myself? Do you know I gotta show up for myself? Do you know everything I got to do for him, I got to do it? And can't nobody do it for me? Did you know I can't do nothing for you? I can help encourage you. I can preach the word to you, and you can preach it to me. We Look, iron sharpens iron. We can encourage one another. You can pray for me. I can pray for you. We can pray together. If we pray together, he'll show up in the midst. He said, we're two or three gathered in my name. Touch agreeing according to my will. They should have what they ask for. Oh, we can get it done together. But at the end of the day, I got to be willing to do whatever he called me to do. Yeah. And I'm the one that got to do it. Nobody going to do that for me. I don't expect them to. You ain't never. Look, <laughs> I remember I left my home. We was in a five-bedroom home, and I wanted to be saved. <clears throat> I left the house, and... Um, I was living, I ain't going to go there because that's terrible. <laughs> the stuff, I, I, you know, I don't know, do I want to talk about that or not? But I rem- I had a home to go to. But I wanted to be saved so bad. I wanted to be around the people of the most high. And I wanted to be in the word that I was living in a place that was so nasty. It was like it was a thick fog. Like I can see it in the air. It was so diseased. <laughs> And as soon as I went in, and my stomach started turning. And then I went, I went, so my stomach started turning. And then I went inside of the bathroom because my stomach started turning and I had to use the bathroom. And now y'all got me this far. I might as well keep going and bury myself. <laughs> but I had to use the bathroom like I had to run to something. Here we go. It's going bad fast. <laughs> and when I went in the bathroom, it, was, it wasn't a bathroom to your own room. It was a public bathroom for everybody in there. And when I went in there, there was feces all over the walls and on the floor and vomit. Wow. And yet I have to use the bathroom. And there was no toilet paper. Oh, 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 oh. So as soon as I walked in and I looked and saw that, I just threw up all over myself. And then I used the bathroom myself. And then I busted out and started crying. <laughs> and I still didn't go home. And I still didn't go home. Not only, not only did I not go home, I kept retraining myself. I kept reading. I kept studying. I could have went home. I ke- I stayed with y'all. I I stayed. I I I I had to break up with the 
female I was in love with just had a baby because we were sinning. And I refused to go back to her, and I was in love. She was fine as heck, too. But I left her for y'all. Period. I just wanted to be saved. I was the type boy, I would work and get my whole check. My pastor would come, I'm not saying he should, give me some of my money back now. <laughs> but he used to show up and take my hold, and I'd give it to him and keep reading. And the anointing that was on my life and the favor, the miracles that he did in my life through me and for me. I was able to cast out devils and just, I just but, but fasting. Man, I remember I fast to the point where I black out. I had to grab something so I wouldn't hit the ground and bust my head. You couldn't do that for me. And I can't do that for you. Nor, nor can I boast in that to the point that I, I, I still got to keep doing it. Every man got to bear his own burden. I don't care what it is. There's a call on your life. There's devils on your life. That's going to attack to try to abort the mission. And you got folks that's lazy. Up under false doctrine because they too lazy to read for themselves. Too lazy to fast for themselves, to pray for themselves. They too try, they try to make it in this world. And every sign is letting you know that this place is crumbling. And if you Israel, you find out not only is it crumbling, but they hate you. Been hating you. You thought you was a part of the family, didn't you? <laughs> That's rather find out you ain't even a citizen. <laughs> Bad news, huh? You ain't even a citizen. Still trying to make it on the Titanic that hit, a, hit, hit the iceberg a long time ago and it's sinking. Find out your birth certificate. Come on, somebody. Ain't nothing but a, a slave bond. You owe the debt. That's your paperwork that you took on the debt of America. And they're coming for their money. And you still trying to chase the American dream, selling y'all to be freaky. Folks couldn't wait to the point to where uh, group sex is normal. Boy, you get to get you a little some some lotion, little, little some lubrication, and just get to rubbing and grabbing stuff. Getting pulled on, you pulling on stuff and getting pulled on, and you couldn't be happier with your little freaky self. Kids get back because they scandalous. Hide your kids. Y'all remember that? Hide your dog and your frog. <laughs> your frog. Yeah. Confession booth with that freaky old cat. Catholicized demon. Devil. Oh, I'm talking to that. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> we got you gotta bear your own burden. What whatever who what family you was born in, you gotta bear it. Whatever generational curses, you gotta break them. Nobody feeling sorry for you. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Nobody care nothing about how horny you are. Rebuke yourself. Fast. Pray. Read. Be about your father's business and quit trying to please your unpleasable evil nature. Get a bigger house, you're going to want a bigger one. You're going to look at the and they got they, they They house bigger. You get a new car and they got a new one. Now you want that. You can't please the flesh. Come on, somebody. I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> but come on, wake the righteousness, y'all. Listen, listen. Just in those first five verses, it drew a picture. I'm going to say the picture and then I'm going to get out of here. Listen, this is the picture. Good to see you on, Casey. But this is the picture. The picture is we're supposed to bear one another's burdens. Real talk. I'm supposed to love you enough to walk in a certain level of selflessness that is not about me, right? That's what the Messiah did. When the Word was made flesh, it wasn't about him. He said, I come in my Father's name. He came in his Father's name because it wasn't about his flesh. It was about the Word. It was what was in the flesh that was important. It was the Word that was inside the flesh that people needed to be reconciled back with the Word. So he said, I come in my father's name. If another come in his own name, him you're going to receive. If you reject a selfless man that didn't have an ulterior motive, and the only thing he wanted to get you was saved, the only thing he wanted to get you was the words of eternal life, 
If you couldn't tolerate him, then you're going to be like Israel that want a physical king. You want a physical man. You want a physical woman. You want to live by what you see, what it smells like, what it tastes like, what it sounds like, and what it feels like. Because you're carnal. You need a false doctrine, once saved, always saved. You need something that's going to make excuse for your wickedness. Because you're not going to deny yourself. And you're not going to be led by his spirit. But the, but the scripture said, if someone is overtaking the fault, you with your spiritual, you're not into yourself. You can go the extra mile to help them. And that's your attitude. But it graduated to say, but every man got to bear his own burden. It told me to help bear your burden to the best of my ability. But it really put the, the premise on where, where it really slides. And that's every man needed to be saved from themselves through the word by themselves. You got to be saved from your lusts through the power of his word and his word alone. Or finish killing them, finish screwing, finish going to church, go to the strip, finish cussing, finish lying. Finish with a false Catholicized doctrine that say Jesus did it all so you can finish living like a fool and die like one too. Find the right preacher to preach your lying funeral and preach you into heaven because you definitely didn't go. Is that all right? <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. I say, ain't this Shabbat? Is this Shabbat today? Yeah. yeah. Go rest. Rest from sin. Rest from sin, please. <laughs> Folks arrested for mopping. <laughs> you are tripping. The flow dirty. Mop the dog on flow with your crazies here. Walking around here with a shawl and with some thread hanging, thinking you didn't done something. <laughs> We got to bear our own burden. I better go finish forgiving and living for him for myself. Or I too can be a castaway. And you better go on and pull, pull your little skirt down. Not pass your knees. I mean pull the top of it down. And tell the player to put his hands back in his little pockets. Pull his pants up. Put his hands in his pocket. Tell your brother. We brothers, man. We shouldn't be hugging like this. Oh my God. <laughs> Untie your beards. <laughs> Untangle your beards. You ain't supposed to be doing that either. Mustache is locked. No. And get in the word. And repent. Come on, somebody. And repent. Bear your own burden. I'm sorry that you had to go through whatever you got to go through, but I tell you what. I give you this consolation, and we're going to get out of here. Greater is he that's in you. If you received him, greater is he that's in you. If you accepted him as what they call Lord, Adonai, master of your life. If you received him, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. We can do all things. Hallelujah. Through the power of his word. Is that all right, y'all? Because we can. If you're in him, you're a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. Give him a praise because he's worthy. We bring him in. Hallelujah. 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 And hallelujah. That was the lesson for today. Hopefully enough was said that we can go rest. That we can go Shabbat. Go rest uh, from your carnal ways. And, 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 and you know, he said, uh, 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 what did he say? Come, come on to me, all you the labor and heavy laden, and I give you rest. Yeah, that's, what he said. that's the rest. The Messiah. The Messiah is the word. We're going to rest from our carnal way of doing things, and we're going to rest in the word. We're going to let the mind that was in him be in us. Hide the word in the heart that we might not sin against it. Rest. Go rest, y'all. And bear your own burdens. Is that all right? Let's praise him one more time. And let's Hallelujah. Go. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, again, uh, we thanks for hanging out. Uh, Y'all be uh, broke today. Be blessed. Um, if you were blessed by the lesson, feel free to push the share button. Feel free so somebody else can hear it and they can rest as well. Good to see you on, Ken, uh, Mr. Collin, um, Mar Marvin. Good to see you on, uh, bruh, bruh. But, um, Y'all push the share button if, if you are blessed by the lesson and believe someone else can be blessed as well. If you're supporting this ministry, I'm humble. I really am. Anyone that supports a ministry like this, the Most High is definitely blessing you. <laughs>
mentally. Oh, but yeah. anyway, if you support this ministry, I humbly say thank you and may the most high continue to increase you. Um, if uh, you, you're learning from this ministry, it's benefiting you, and you're led to support this ministry, it's my job to tell you how. You got the cash app. All you got to do is put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Um, and you can support the ministry like that. You also can do it through the Facebook. Go into my messenger, and there's a giving button in there. We're going to get out of here. And, and I pray that we all have the state of mind that whatever I got to go through, the devil is a lie. I can do it because great is he that's in need and he's in the world. Quit feeling sorry for yourself and your flesh. Go forgive. Go love. Go do what y'all called you to do. Find out what your call is on your life and fulfill it. Do not leave earth without fulfilling your call. Forsake the flesh. Hallelujah. That's and right. live. Is that all right? That's right. Y'all be Baruch. Hallelujah. And Baruch. Shalom. Hallelujah. We gone. Ah!